Next question is from Iron Crypt Customs Steve. What are the best rear delt workouts? I've always had legging rear rear delts, and I really want a full looking shoulder. This must be a new person to the podcast. Yeah, you yeah. know, I know this. Is a, I've done a lot of stuff on this. You yeah, have yeah. Uh, passionate about this. You know, the, the the biggest challenge with using the uh, training the rear delts is that uh, it's really hard to not totally incorporate the muscles of the back. Right. Like, you know, like the staple exercise is very the, small range of motion is is a rear fly, but very easily do people turn this into like a modified kind of row. Yeah. And then wonder why they don't develop. You know, it's funny that, okay, the question that was right before this, great, this is great. So one of the single best exercises, I've got a bunch. And by the way, if you haven't gone to our Mind Pump TV YouTube and put Mind Pump TV and uh, rear delts, I think I've done, I've personally done at least three videos myself on rear delts. Yep. And I think you guys have too. So mm -hmm. lots of, uh, of content on there. One of my favorite movements uh, for training my rear delts was actually a bent over rear delt cable fly. And I use it with an isometric hold at the end. Mm. So I do a really light weight. Because and you're pulling through, right? Yes. It's under. So one, like to your point, um, because it's such a small muscle and it's on your backside, it's really easy for people's back to take over the movement, like you're saying. So I love to do this bent over fly where I'm I'm pulling through and I'm I'm flying back. And so out. the cable is is a, yeah is it's like attached to you. It's like attached over where you're at, and I'm pulling back back and out this way. And I'll do a weight that is really light that I can go really slow and controlled, and then I can get an isometric hold at the end and flex my rear delt. Yep. So I can really feel it from there, and then I resist it. On the way back in, and then I come back out now, again. By the way, notice, bring your arm up like you finished the, the rep. Yeah. No, notice how uh, Adam's elbow is high. Yeah. That's rear delt. A lot of people will, will externally rotate, and their elbow will be closer to the body. Then you know that they're using too well, much and, back. Well, and the other cue I like is fly out, not back. Yes. Right? So we have a tendency on rear rear delt exercises. Yeah, to chest comes up. Yeah. Then, like, guys guys, guys will do that. It's you like see a bunch it, of rhomboids. You see it all the time, and you'll see them do it, doing it. And by the way, it doesn't make that movement bad or wrong. It's just you're not going to get a lot of rear delt. Right. You're going to get more traps. Yeah, you're going to hit a lot, of, a lot of your back muscles versus hitting your rear delts. And so if you want rear delts, you know, the, the fly out cue is one of my favorite cues. Use a weight light that you can first learn to isometrically contract yeah. that muscle. Then once you've trained that, then I then some of my favorite movements were just heavy bent over dumbbell flies. But I couldn't do that really well until I learned. Like I can I can take my arm across my body and I can flex my rear delt in this position. Yeah. So you have to learn to be able to train that to be able to contract that small muscle even in a position like this. Once you learn to do that, then taking cables, I mean dumbbells, whatever you want, you can get a great workout. But the mistake mistake that we see people make is they let their back muscles take over the movement. Yeah. Another, another thing I used to do with some clients just to help, because what would happen is they do their rear fly and it would kind of, their elbows would kind of come in and it would turn into this row is I would tell them to take their palms and face them back. So they're pushing out with the pinkies that just encourage because the, the, the shoulder has nothing to do with this rotation here, but all it would do is encourage the elbow to stay out and encourage them to go out rather than back. So those are just, that's just one other cue you can use to kind of, but the key is to go light. Yeah. You go light on this because trust me, it's a small, small muscle. muscle yeah. Go light on it and isolate it. If you go heavy, you're going to turn it into a back. You exercise. can't go. I mean, eventually you can get to a place where you yes, go but heavy. This guy right here, right? Yeah, no, totally. Like that. Like remember, I mean, I did all the, and that's why I think that cable exercise, because we, we typically tell people barbell dumbbell exercises are superior when it comes to building muscle. But here's an example of when training the movement and getting the cues down becomes the big one of the biggest challenges. And when you're doing a, a free weight exercise, it's really hard to to, uh -huh. to do that. So here's where I love to train somebody on how to fire the rear delt. Then when you get really good on command being able to fire the rear delt, then you can do some really cool exercises with dumbbells and barbells to really get the, the rear delts going. 